Here comes a fourth generation chuck wagon driver. He is in the middle of what we call Benz Miller University. His granddaddy was a champion. His great granddaddy was a champion. He's going to be a champion because he's under pressure. His uncles are all champions. You are about to be a part of the next generation of one of the greatest chuck wagon corporations in the world because this young guy ought to be in the movies. This is Cruz Benz Miller. All right, let's cruise with this here. Let's go $10,000. Uh, 10 a minute, 10 a minute, 10,000. 12,000 dollars here. Now five. 14,000. Uh, 14,000. Now you're going to be 14, 14, 14, 14, 14,000. 14,000. Now you're going to be 14,000 here. Solem, 14,000. Look who grabs the rail. Cruz Benz Miller, Farm Boys Oil Field. And that farm boy is southbound, plowing around the turn. Cruz Benz Miller cruises to that finish line. The tree line, well services finish line. Cruz is going to get there by two lengths. Yeah, this is my first time in GP, and it's felt pretty good to do what I did tonight. And uh, the horses are going good. And. Uh, like the first couple nights were a little slow, I'm not going to admit that, and the horse has been working good, it's just been myself, and tonight I had the confidence that I needed, and we made a good turn, and it was good, had day money. I just kind of focused up, I relaxed a little more, you know, I just, uh, I don't know, took my time and actually felt my horses, instead of going up there and just yanking on them, you know, just kind of felt it, made it a little smoother, and more relaxed is probably the biggest thing that helped me tonight. And my right leader was Fool's Money. Uh, Vern had him for a little bit, actually Buddy bought him, Vern had him for a little bit, and then he kind of moved into an outriding horse, and then Kurt used him last year as a good outfit, and then this year I kind of got him, which is pretty lucky for me, because he's a pretty decent horse, and he's exactly what I need, because he starts him, you like start him in the turn, and he comes around, he's just a nice horse, and has a lot of run too. So coming into Grand Prairie, I felt a little nervous, you know, in the first time, you know, I had a sold good at the tarp sale, and I was like, oh, now I gotta, you know, be good and prepare, and and I was driving good in the mornings and stuff, and yeah, just coming to the race, just a little bit of nerves got to me, and I'm glad I got that out of the way. I uh, left Wheeler tonight, was one of Buddy's horses. We got him, I believe he come from uh, Winnipeg, and uh, we had him this spring, he was driving decent, and the more we drove him, the better he got. And I actually took him in his first race on, uh, I believe it was the second night, or no, sorry, it was the first night on the two barrel. I took him for his first race, and he's a really nice horse. He's working better every night. He's one of them, if you yell his name, you know, he'll get antsy and he'll be ready to rock and roll for you. Tonight, I had a pretty good turn. Um, I come in a little bit hot, and Uncle's kind of give me crap for that just because it's a little bit harder on your team. And I kind of come in at a bad angle. I kind of pointed towards my chalk line instead of my barrel. And with this outfit, you got to be on your barrel and you kind of float out left a little bit. But uh, I let money go just a little bit. He cheated me. And then I let him float, and then I brought him around, and he comes smooth to the bottom, and in my lane, and just perfect, right on the rail where I wanted to be. Coming around the barrels, I come around the barrels really hot, which is what I wanted. And I remember going around the first and second turn, and I was just gritting my teeth as hard as I could. And I kept my left wheeler right, or left leader right on the rail, and I hugged the rail as, as close as I could get. I just remember being real aggressive, like, let's go. And, and after the last couple nights, it was good to let that energy out and, and have a good run. I was just pumped. I was whipping and having fun. I was smiling. I'm sure I was smiling. And yeah, it was great. I was really enjoyed it. My left leader, uh, he has a lot of run. His name's Swing. Uh, Kurt used him last year on his good outfit. And he's just kind of played around a little bit. Uh, and then I had uh, Fool's Money on the right lead. And he's a really nice horse. He turns good as soon as you start him. He comes and had a uh, new horse tally on the left of one of Buddy's horses that he's let me borrow. And uh, another nice horse. And then Zapper Dan is the right wheeler. He's a big, beautiful bay horse. That's a really nice outfit. Like, I'm really happy with Uncle, what Uncle's got me set up with. After the race, I turned around to go back in front of the grandstand, and I seen Uncle running, which doesn't run very often to help me, but he ran into the box, and he, uh, he was grinning the whole time, and he slapped me on the ribs, and he said, heck yeah, you know, good job. And so it was about time, you know, you went out there, you sat up, and you drove him tonight, and it showed. Yeah, we got the horses unhooked, and Buddy came over, and he shook my hand, and. We took a picture and I was pretty proud of that. That was a pretty cool moment for me. Oh. Uh, this is Dapper Dan. He's the right wheeler I use tonight. Yeah, he's a pretty nice horse. He's super nice and quiet and down here with the barrels and when the horn goes he, he goes pretty fast. <laughs>